Daryl, you must be very proud of the performance from the guys last night. What did you make of the game overall? Um, I thought we were outstanding, to be honest. I thought, um, in particular in the second half, I think in the first half, um, we were decent in the first half, but I, I thought we could have dominated them more than what we did. Um, and we just said to the players at half, so I have more belief in our actual quality and, and step on the gas and, and believe in what we're doing and take the game to Stockport because I felt we, we could do that and we're in a position now in terms of confidence and, and quality that we're showing on a regular basis that we could do that. Um, and I thought we showed that in the second half how far we've probably come in, in, in the last few months. I thought we were absolutely outstanding. We started very brightly, but found, us, found ourselves behind after 35 minutes. How important do you then think it was to get one back before the half-time break? Yeah, I think it's always great to go in level at half-time as you go 1-0 down that late in the half as well. Um, I didn't think we deserved to go 1-0 down, but it happens and I thought we showed a good character. Um, it's a terrific ball in from Willow again from a set piece and delighted for Maka to do what Maka does and it's a great header. I was then going to move on to Maka. He continues his hot goal-scoring streak. I know you've seen him day in and day out, as you've said, this season. But how important do you think it is that the fans can now see things really coming together out on the pitch? Yeah, I think it's really important. I think it's very important. I think it's also very important as well. I've said this again numerous times that, you know, Mac's been off and a lot of the lads have quite a few times with COVID and they've had a six-month layoff. We've had, it's been so stop-start. We've not had, and this is for lots of teams, but in particular for us in terms of our key players, we've not had them as regularly as we wanted them to. And, you know, I think, Angelo and Maka as well, and I put Angelo into that bracket as well for the last two or three months, maybe a bit longer. I've trained together day in, day out, and it's no coincidence that they're playing so well now, and their work ethic's been awesome in that period to form the partnership, and a long may that continue. You mentioned that second half performance, um, and it's fair to say we had a few Stockport fans um, replying to us on Twitter saying we were the best team to visit Edgeley Park this season. Do you think that on another day, I think I know your answer, but do you think on another day we could have come away with all three points? Yeah, I think we should have come away with three points. I think we should have. I think um, our performance our performance yesterday warranted that, I think. Um, we had the chances to take it and win the game. We possibly had two penalty shots as well. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. The game's gone, but I'm really proud of the performance. Um as I have been of, of, of a few other performances as well that we haven't won and, and one that sticks to mind that I know was, was Hartlepool and I know a lot of Hartlepool fans I think you told me that they were commenting on our performance to their place as well so it's nice to get compliments from the way fans that we're doing things right um, but we want to turn them into wins now and, and grind out wins when, when we perform as well as we do Yeah definitely and Angelo Belanta required some treatment towards the end of the game was he just cramping up a bit or do we think it's something a bit more serious? Yeah no, it's just cramp. It's just cramp. Angela will be fine for the for sure. He'll be fine for the weekend. Good stuff. And just a word on Will Wright. He made his 100th appearance last night, assisted Macca's goal, as you said, marked it very nicely. How good do you think Will has been recently? And do you think you've seen a big improvement in him since you came into the club? I think his improvement's been phenomenal in the, in the last couple of months, three months, four months. I think he's been absolutely outstanding. Um, He's another one as well that I think is really believing in himself now. He's got all the attributes to be a very, very good player. Um, he's caught in that little errors that I felt he had in his game, which most young players do, but I think he's really cutting them out now. And, and he's and he's been, I think his performance is his character, his leadership, um, his attitude and mentality is, is top draw. And, and I still don't think we're seeing anywhere near the best of the right either. I think Wilkins has still, still got so much to improve on and, and he can kick onto it to a higher level without a shadow of a doubt. Um, he's going to have to deal with one ear now after after last night, but hopefully he's okay. I know he, he was he was he stayed up in Manchester last night in hospital, and he uh, he was getting some stitches done this morning at ten a.m. He has to go back and see a doctor this morning, so um, I'll speak to him again this afternoon, and hopefully he'll be okay for Saturday. Yeah, fingers crossed. We look ahead to Saturday now, when we'll welcome Halifax Town to Victoria Road. They've been a little bit inconsistent recently, with three losses and two wins in the last five. What will you be expecting from them? They're always hard to play against. I think Pete's done a really good job there. Um, they've played numerous different formations. They've predominantly probably been a 3-5-2, but they have played games where they've played four at the back with four centre halves and been big and organised. Um, I think we've got to be understand the strengths and weaknesses of the individuals in their group. And most importantly is that we focus on ourselves and, and making sure we can continue our good run and, and performing how we can perform. 
especially at home. And um, I really want us to make our, our home ground a fortress. And then um, I want us to, I want us to focus on that and, and be ready to go again. And just finally to finish, um, it's just been announced that the final home game of the season against Wrexham will be welcoming back home supporters. How much are you and the, the whole squad looking forward to that? Yeah, I think we can't wait. We can't wait for it. We, we we hope that we can, you know, win the next couple of games and, and, and have a nice nice game at the end of the season to finish against Wrexham. Um, but it's great for us to have the fans back. It'll be fantastic. I'm sure the fans will be delighted to get back into the ground as well. And it's a great game to come back to, I think, as well against Wrexham, a, a huge football club at this level. And I'm looking forward to having fans back in. I'm looking forward to that game for sure.